Hi everyone. It's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue here for today's Cricut Chat Friday. Hey Benji. Benji's here with me and we're going to have our show. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, I am really frustrated. But it, I think it's a good idea for me to do the show when I'm frustrated because you can see that it's all not always all peaches and cream when it comes to crafting and how do you work your way through something like this. Um, the reason why I am a little frustrated this morning is because I have just had a very challenging week. Uh, I had something come up on Sunday that was like this personal thing that was just frustrating. Um, it's school vacation week and, and it's just been a challenge all week with everything. And even this morning, Teddy Bear and his excitement actually pushed me down. <laughs> I fell to the, to the floor because he was so excited to see me. Um, and he wanted to go for a walk. He actually like stepped on my knee, like jumped up and, well, it's a corgi, remember, they can only kind of jump up to your knee. And he jumped up to my knee and I was off balance and fell. And I was like, oh man, that is just so typical of this week. Um, and also then I started to do the project for today, which I was going to make a mug box, um, and from a file. Okay. And it's all wrong. This mug box from, from a project is completely wrong and I'm so frustrated. So I, then I decided to pivot to another project, which is, which was, um, a Lari Whitlock project that I love and it's 3d. Cause remember, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just like, ah, uh, today, <laughs> this week, you know, I'm just, ah, uh, and I wanted to share with you because, you guys are my friends and I can share with you. So I wanted to do this um, in place of the mug box. And then I uh, got a, a message from from uh, Design Space that there was something wrong with that. Hi, Shirley. Yeah, I know. I have to breathe. I, you're right. I have to breathe. See, I got these little messages these here. This is a Laurie Whitlock file that I've cut. I don't know how many times and I wanted to cut it today sort of as a pivot. These are so cute um, and I wanted to cut it today at, for 3D Friday after the whole mug fiasco. <laughs> And then, and then I got this message for no clear reason. Um, and so I've, you know, touched base with Cricut on both of these things. I know. Oh, I've just had a really challenging week. I'm not upset or, you know, whatever. I've just been challenged this week by so many different things, physical and emotional and, you know, that sort of thing. And, uh, and just like... Also trying to understand my stamina because here I am in the months after have having recuperated from uh, from cancer, cancer treatment and everything, and I really don't get how I have no stamina um, to do things such as staying awake at night. <laughs> and that really kind of messed me up because we had our first... Um, conservation committee meeting on Wednesday and it was four hours long and I loved it but I was like I have to sit up until 11 o'clock I'm usually in bed by nine and uh I was like I'm really thankful to be on this commission but wow four hours I don't think I don't know if I can do that you know and um so, and then the next day I was tired. I was too tired. So that was last night. So I didn't get the best sleep. You know, it's frustration. And we sometimes come to the crafting table frustrated. So I'm, I'm bound and determined to learn something from all of these things this week. 
I know a four hour meeting on Zoom, you know, and you have to look at yourself for four hours, which I hate. <laughs> oh no, a puppy in the hospital. Oh goodness. I might, and you know, Diana's saying maybe I'm taking on too much too soon. And I, I agree. I am a pusher. I push myself. And I'm thinking sometimes, you know, we do this show seven days a week, which I love and I love you guys. Um, but there's a lot of pressure to come up with seven different projects every day. And maybe I need to have the show, but not always do a project. Um, and today I'm going to show you something that I was working on yesterday. I agree, Nikki. I mean, four hour meeting. I mean, if you have that much work, I don't know. But I'm the new guy. <laughs> I'm the alternate. And so it's kind of hard being the new guy because you want to kind of like make a good impression. And yet um, you want to just kind of go, whoa, you guys, four hours for a meeting is way too long for for any meeting. Like, I have a hard time with two-hour meetings, but four-hour meetings, it's like people were falling asleep. I felt like people were falling asleep, and it could definitely have been sped up, and it could have happened in in two hours. Yeah, so, so you know, we, we um, sometimes I know I take on too much, and I don't want to be in a situation again where I have um, – a physical challenge or, you know, a concern like I did last year. And last year it was good because um, I didn't get asked to do a whole lot. And maybe people are asking, you know, now that they know it's over, they're asking more of me. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just putting myself out there more. But um, definitely doing way, way more. Um, I know, right? I didn't know how I... Um, yeah, so kind of, I, I, um, I, I, I think, I think it is a good thing to learn about yourself too. Um, and I have a friend that's on the city council and he was like, even that's too much for me. Um, and I would consider city council be more of a, um, more of a, uh, challenge than, um, then they, uh, what's the word I'm saying? Like I thought city council was more challenging and he's telling me, oh, no, no, um, it, it, conservation committee, it, which is an unpaid volunteer committee, is more challenging. But anyway, and I don't know, like it all comes down to, uh, you know, today it's like uh, I have to finish up the week and how am I going to keep going? So I, I want to think about and talk about that. But, um, and I want, I want to talk to you all about it because you're my friends and, um, and sort of see what I can do. I mean, I am dragging today. I'm really tired and it's just, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. And I do want to, you know, do these things are very important to me, my outside life here in Peabody, but also, um, the crafting. And so I kind of knew that when I started doing it, because I felt like there was like in, you know, there's a local aspect and then there's a more global aspect. And, uh, so, so there's that, but, but let's talk about frustration with cricket because it happens. Um, yeah. So, so this, this is the project. So the, today's Friday and it's 3d Friday and I hope you're all well. Um, so let me just, uh, I don't know what the problem is with this project. I suspect it has something to do with what went on last night. And this is an outside designer. And maybe it's a problem with print and cut. But I was kind of like trying to pivot. So um, I probably should, Rhonda. I'm thinking that I should take a day off and maybe re-, re uh, and, and I think it's going to be in the middle of the week because... Um, yeah, because it seems like in the middle of the week would be better for me. Yeah. So anyway, so this this is a project that I cannot fix by myself. So I asked Cricket to help me fix that. So I want to um, 
to show you the project that I originally started with, which was the mug box, right? So we're all doing mugs, or a lot of us are doing mugs. We have the new mug press and everything. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but the 15-ounce mugs, the larger of the mugs, bought in bulk come in this really really nice box so um i thought oops i got a lot of these what 12 ounce boxes i uh, 12 ounce mugs maybe i need to make a mug for these because i have you know some of this some of the other one so i thought okay let's have a look at what Cricut Design Space has, and when you type in mug, or you can type in mug box, there are two choices here. There's this one, which is a geometric mug and gift box, and then there's this one, which doesn't seem super sturdy to me, so I didn't immediately um, choose that one. I figured I'd try this one and make some modifications because it, it basically, it comes with a... Um, a thing to make the mug itself, you know, and then obviously it has like two Oliver from Cal, you know, it's like, I, I don't need that. And there's some decorations on the box. So I went and did customize and it brought me to this. This is the, um, the file. So let me just kind of move these things around or let's just have a look. So this I didn't need. So I just completely just you know, got rid of that. Okay. And these little elements too didn't need. So I'm just focusing on these things. Now here's our box. It's two pieces, which I love, but if you have a look, this box just looks small <laughs> to begin with, but um, let's ungroup it. Now, when we're putting together boxes, what what is the uh, what is the whole idea of a box? All the sides have to be the same, right? They have to be the same so that it creates a box. So, or, or it has to be you have to take these two pieces and work together. Well, it turns out that when you're cutting this, that let me show you. I mean, at least that's the way it worked out for me. Um, when you're cutting this, some sides of the box, this side, I don't know. This is what I came up with, these two pieces, right? Can you draw on a sublimation mug with infusible pens? Yes, Dawn, you can. You can. So, so this is the... I, I'm assuming this is the top of the mug. Maybe it's not. Maybe this is the bottom of the mug. But here is the piece that I'm like, what's going on here? Um, this, I, I'm just really not figuring out all of this. And I don't think that it's right. Because look here, this is not working. But then... Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm just messing it up. Maybe I, I don't know. I'm having a really hard time putting this together. And I cut it out and I'm like, what? These do not seem like the right measurements for this box. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's also just too small. So, okay, maybe this works. But I try to put the... um the mug in here, which it has this handle. Yeah, it's in DS. And look, it doesn't fully pop out this mug. I think it's on, on the right is the bottom piece on this graph. Yeah, so this is frustrating <laughs> because I'm like, okay, how does this all work? And I don't know, is my mug supposed to come out on this side all the way or just a little tiny bit? And that's where sometimes it can get frustrating because you go to projects, say, and we're going to, again, look for mug. Okay, so we look for mug and here we go. What do they give you for instructions? 
you know, it says when you're ready to, to make it, it's all about the mug transfer. And then it just says follow design space prompts to cut the images from craft board. Um, and this is all about how to put the design on the mug. Well, that's great, but I really picked this project because I wanted um, to... It says fold along the score lines, assemble the box using paper or hot glue, and insert finished mug into the box. Well, kind of not enough information. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but I just like, uh, it's not enough information. Sorry. So I might have to switch over to this mug box and just ignore the um, infusible ink part and just try to cut this because I just can't, it can't, it's not going in my head right. I don't know. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Mug, sorry. So try flipping your mu mug. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I could. It just feels like, <gasps> no, it just feels too small. I mean, I don't know, you guys. It just feels small to me. It just feels too small. I don't know. Maybe, because, like, look here. This side is supposed to be here. And yet, let me just show you without the mug. See, this side I know is supposed to be here, right? Because that's what the picture shows. I think. I don't know. Ugh. So frustration. So what do you do when you're frustrated? Well, part of me, um, I have to walk away sometimes. I have to walk away. And, and the other part of me says, work on something else. So I figured I would work on something else. It's not quite 3D. It's not what I planned, but I'm going to work on something else. And then I'll come back to this when I'm not as frustrated and um, try to figure it out. In the end, it will probably be me. I didn't figure it out correctly, but, um, but there you go. You know, I will figure it out and I'm just frustrated. So I would advise you to do the same. Sometimes things are frustrating and it's supposed to be fun crafting and all of that stuff. And it isn't. So let's move on. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move on to, yeah, I know. Why don't we glue it and see it already? Uh, I know. I'm just going to walk away from it, though, I think. It's the one for the 12 ounce. So let us talk about some other things. There are a couple of things I wanted to mention. Mother's Day is coming, okay? I'm going to resize it, I think, Sandra. I think it's just too small. Um, and so Mother's Day is coming, and so there's a lot of projects that we could be doing for Mother's Day. And I mentioned that I did get a box of Happy Mail from from Cricut this week. And I, I want to sort of move, uh, work on those. We have a couple of cool things like there's a, a candle that we can decorate with, with um, vinyl and... There's a couple of things that we can use iron on on. So I want to kind of unpack that. And then on Saturday night, I want to talk about uh, alcohol inks again, because I know a lot of you went out and bought alcohol inks and as did I, and I want to show you, we did that fairy lights project, but I want to show you how to incorporate it into um, a cricket project. So I started playing yesterday. And first of all, I found out that if you you have a dead mat, a mat that you're not going to use um, anymore. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great little surface for doing things like alcohol ink because you don't have to worry about it getting everywhere, you know. And um, and then I I ended up with some of this paper. It's called Upo paper. Um, and actually, this isn't. I don't think it's, I think Upo is a brand name, but it's basically a polypropylene uh, surface that you do with alcohol ink. And so I wanted to show you that tomorrow. 
Um, and, uh, and I'm learning to play with things like this alcohol blending solution. And I've got a big old box now of alcohol ink. So I want to show you that. So I'm still learning and I want to show you that for tomorrow. Um, so I will continue to do that later on today. And then I wanted to show you this project, which is a, I started working on it yesterday. I think I might've mentioned it to you. It's this one. It's called, uh, I called it earth heart decal. So let's go here and I can show you. It's, um, somebody asked me about these projects and I, I, at first I looked at them. I'm like, wow, that's so cool. But then I, um, then I was like, uh, I guess you'd cut that with vinyl. So I want to show you these because it's not just the earth. Um, but I did find it when I typed in earth. And there's like a whole bunch of them. I just don't know what they call it. Um, so I want to show you the whole grouping if I can find the original here. Here it is. Okay. So let's go to view image set. And I think it's okay. It's called a world of hearts and it says a world of hearts two. So that means there must be a world of hearts one, right? Um, and I remember these came out. Yes. Last year during COVID and there's a dog and there's the cat and there's look at the butterfly people. Um, all of these wonderful sea creatures, a gnome, I guess, oh, that's a nurse's hat. Um, and all of these, like, really cool. I like this heart that has all of these colors. But because it was Earth Day, I chose this one, okay? And it's only two colors, and I want to show you um, how it works out. But I also, while I'm here, I think I might, it's called a World of Hearts. So let me see. Hearts. Um, well, there you go. World of Hearts. There's two. So here's one. Uh, World of Hearts. Actually, this three. This one's called World of Hearts three. And this one has like, look, birds, baking, all of this. I love this because it has like, you know, uh, things we do with our, with our hobbies. Uh, all these butterflies, a unicorn. And look at this one. Really cute. Toilet paper, I guess, because of last year. And, um, and look, a paw print. And there's all paw prints in a heart. So let's go back and look at the other one. So we have a world of hearts. There's the original one. And then we have a world of hearts two and a world of hearts three. So we need to look at the original one. So here we go. So it sounded like they came out with this, really liked it or got good response and they decided to make more. And here's one. It's different than the one that's on the other set, but it's really cool. But what you'll notice about this image is that some of these hearts are really terribly small, super, super small. And I'm thinking, how are they going to cut out and how am I going to do this? So I wanted to show you how I, how I did this. And I think it was Annette who asked me. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. I'm changing. This is not, uh, alcohol ink. This is, I'm going to do in vinyl. So, um, you would just simply insert these into your canvas, size them the way that you want to size them. And then when you go to cut them, I'm just going to hide this one. When you go to cut them, it will separate on mats uh, by color. So let me show you if I were to cut this exactly as it is and hit make it, I'm going to end up with eight different mats of all different colors. And now I'm assuming that these are in correct order because mine was, but it doesn't look like they are. Let me just check that out. Well, maybe they are. Um, but with the heart one, I mean, sorry, with the earth one, Let's go over here. 
the way that um, that I did it was I made it about five inches wide because I thought it would make a nice decal for a car. And then I went and hit make it. And you'll see here, it separated them on two different uh, mats. I actually, of course, wanted to not waste vinyl. So I made four of them and I used sheet vinyl from Cricut that I got in a mystery box that is removable. And it did take a long time to cut these. I cut them on premium vinyl setting because um, that's what Cricut calls them. And here is the end result. It still has transfer tape on it, but here's the end result. And what I have noticed about this is that it's a lovely image, but you have to be concerned about all these. Let's get real close so you can see. Look at how all of these hearts are so small. I mean, they're they're tiny. They're less than like a quarter of an inch. So I want to show you how I put them together. And in fact, I see a little error right here. Um, so I want to, yeah, I think that Christine, that's a good idea. So maybe this can be drawn instead of cut from vellum and it would be a nice little drawn thing for uh, kids. Let me go back and have a look at that. So we'll cancel. Now, can we change these things to draw from basic cut? I would think you could. So maybe I would change this to pen and change this pen to green. Great idea, Christine. Um, and then maybe change this blue one uh, to pen and choose blue. Or it doesn't even matter because we're going to have control over that. And then maybe um, maybe cut this in infusible ink with infusible ink pens and then turn it into a design. You know, um, that's a really good idea. Um, it's a really good idea, Christine. And then, you know, either color it in or don't color it in, whichever. I think coloring it in would look probably um, better. And then you could put it on whatever, a shirt or something. Um, but I did it today in, okay, Penny, I did it today and I did it in vinyl. So I want to show you um, how I did this. So I cut these out. I'm going to move you now. Um, oh, before we get any further, I wanted to mention that there is a, a brand new digital mystery box called Star. It's a Star Wars mystery box. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but I <laughs> so but I wanted to get that out to you guys. And so, if you go to my page on Facebook, and I will put it in the description of the video. You can um, you can purchase it. And then you'd have immediate access to it from uh, from Design Space. There are four, I think four, maybe five uh, groups of images from Star Wars. The other thing I wanted to mention is that starting today sometime, um, Cricut has made a... a a change in design space and if you uh let's see let me let me let me save this and let me just go to let's just start over because I want to show you this this is kind of cool so we'll do a new project and if you go looking for images if you use a hashtag and type in mother's day 21. It's supposed to bring up projects. It did not. Okay, so sometime today it's going to be um, accessible if you use hashtag Mother's Day 21. And um, all the projects that you have under hashtag Mother's Day 21 are going to be um, free for for everyone to use from to starting today sometime until next, I think they said next Friday. Um, I want to say it's the 28th, but maybe I'm wrong. But um, I'll check the dates on that. And I'll also put that information on the um, 
on in the description of this video, okay? So I'm told that if you are doing a search, I don't know, maybe you have to do it in projects. Let's try this, hashtag Mother's Day 21. Oh, there it is. Okay, so go to projects and use the hashtag, hashtag Mother's Day 21. So any of these, and they're all cards, by the way, but you know, you can modify them if you want to use it for something else. But all of these cards, and I guess um, it's going to be over a hundred, but they're still populating it. So any of these cards that you see, even if you're not a Cricut Access customer, you will be able to make for free. Okay. Um, and so that is for, and actually we're going to use this I Love Mom as part of and this one here, Happy Mother's Day card. We're going to be using these two cards as part of our alcohol ink project tomorrow. Okay. Final announcement. Today at midnight, actually, tonight at midnight is the last time that you can get your name in for the Bundle of Joy giveaway for April uh, remember, we're doing two. This is the second one, and today is the last day. So um, definitely, if you have not put your name in, put it in today because otherwise you'll have to wait until next month when we give it away next month. And you guys understand the ch odds of chance or whatever because it is a chance drawing. So the more times you get your name in, the better your chances are of winning. So definitely do that, okay? All right, so let's... Um, thank you, Renee. You're so ready to win, David. I hope I'm glad. I like that attitude. Okay, so let's just get a piece of paper here because I was actually playing with alcohol ink here and I wanted to show you this project. So here are the two pieces and a piece of transfer tape. See that? And the way that I would probably, or I did do it, is I decided that I was going to put the transfer tape onto the green and then lay the green onto the blue, okay? Um, so that means I'm going to start with that green piece. So let me move the blue piece over. <laughs> this is a terrible base to have on here. Okay, so I'm using Cricut Transfer Tape, and I'm going to try to... It... Oh, by the way, these things weed, like, amazingly. It was probably the easiest project I've ever weeded. Uh, it just came right off. It was beautiful. But transferring will be, I think, a little bit of a challenge, so because of all those all of those little teeny tiny hearts and I'll show you the hearts what I mean I'll get real close so you can see them okay so here's my transfer tape and by the way I will give you this file for this project but know that you can find all kinds of different ones if you look under image sets for hearts something of heart so use the word heart okay so I am just going to take my transfer tape and put it over that green. And I think I will cut it to fit because I don't like having all this extra like sort of sticky material there. So I'm just going to cut it to fit. Make it easier for me to handle, right? So here we go. It's nice and squared off. Okay, we need to burnish, especially because look at how tiny these are. I mean, they're just super, super tiny. So we need to burnish and we need to do it with something like this. So um, this is a scraper. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to use a scraper. You could even use uh, the side of a credit card if you wanted to. I think that's what people used to do way back when this was getting started. Now, um, and I have actually sold 
these this is a decal remember yesterday we did stickers so this i would consider a decal and i actually did sell decals in my etsy shop and when i when i sent them out uh, when someone purchased them, I would send them out with the transfer tape on the top, right? Um, and then I would uh, send it to them and then they would have to remove the transfer tape and apply it to their clean surface, their car, right? Um, so we're going to take this off, but I'm anticipating that I'm going to have a little bit of a problem. So I flip it over onto the backside and I'm starting very gently, um, using, you know, very, 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 very slow process of removing this because there we go. This is what I wanted to show you. See, these are, did not come off of the backing. So we need to go and sort of make sure we burnish. And that hopefully will get those back. But it didn't, you see. So what I do in this case is I burnish again. And I use... First, I, I kind of like move around here, sort of just seeing where I'm going here. Now, this is interesting. Look at that. That's actually the backing not releasing. How weird is that? All right. So um, you can kind of move your project around a little bit like this, but you'll notice that it did sort of cut through this backing and yet not all the way through, which is really very interesting. Um, it might have something to do with the fact that it's removable. I don't know, but um, let us continue. I'm just kind of working it, working it. And when I get to one of those hearts that are not sticking, I'm using my weeding tool to make sure that it sticks on there. But it's it's really, this could be a frustrating moment. So if you encounter this, know that it does happen. Look at that. The backing isn't even coming off. Weird. So I'm going to use my little weeding tool, sort of lift that backing up. See, guys? Girls, people, here's another piece that's a weeding piece. All right. Again, this is removable vinyl, premium vinyl. But I still have these, look, these two tiny um, hearts. Now, you know, some would say, I mean, those hearts are so tiny, maybe you can let them go. And this sort of reminds me a little bit of our Mardi Gras sign that took me forever. Um, you remember that one? So there are some things that you might sort of eh, just let it go. But in this case, I am not going to let it go. I'm going to work through the frustration of that here. Same thing here. Let's remove that. There we go. Because that's just the, the backing. We don't need that. Not sure why that's happening, but it's happened to me before. So, you know, know that this can happen if you're working with vinyl. Um, and let us look over here. Okay. Continuing to work and I'm just going to sort of slice off these pieces, sort of get it free from the backing. This part here is working really well. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And we need to go here, but let's just kind of see where we're going with this. Okay. 
I actually cut one of those. But these are so tiny. Hmm. I don't know about that one. That seems like it... Man, I'm going to skip it. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Now let's keep going. This is a little weird right here. I don't know kind of why that happened. It's very odd. All right. But we will persist. Persist. That's very strange what happened there. But let's make sure these hearts get put on there, okay? This heart is a very strange position. It's in a very strange position, this one. Whoa. Okay, this is the backing. Uh, I feel like a surgeon a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be able to salvage those two tiny hearts, but I was able to save that big one, okay? So, and I'm taking off the backing off of this one, okay? So now I have the blue piece. And I'm going to hold it. It's perfectly uh, perfect because it's just going to go in there. I don't need to use my little dots or hexagon tricks as we've done before because it's just going to lay right on there. And there is the completed one. It obviously has transfer tape on the front. But... Um, what I am going to show you is I'm going to show you how to remove it from the backing as a whole piece. And hopefully we won't have the same problems we had with that green, with the green that we have here, because I don't think we will, because it's sort of cut out. So let's turn it over and... Yeah, the green seems to not be a problem. I've got a little bit of a blue flower um, flower heart. Not. So these little baby hearts, see that? All those little baby hearts come back and really burnish it from the back okay because we want to get it off of the transfer tape and onto whatever surface we're going to put it on now you could if you decided you could sell you know if you decide you want to sell something like this in an etsy shop which i did for a long time i just i did corgi stickers and um they went over really well, but I just couldn't keep up with the uh, daily, you know, checking your order and stuff like that. It was a little, a little tough for me. And so, um, and doing all my other stuff. So I stopped doing it, but I would sell these really cute mandala corgi stickers. And, um, and what I would do is before I sent them out, I would make sure that they were going to release from the backing just in case. Because I didn't want people to have a problem putting it um, on wherever they were putting it on, mostly on car windows. And so this is, I would do this, although not with this much of a problem, but I would do this and then I would just put the transfer tape right back on and send it that way because then they could, um, they could then transfer it. Right, but I always made sure that they could get the decal off of the transfer. It was just sort of a thing that I <laughs> that I always did. 
So um, you might want to do that too, or even if you're going to give a decal to a friend. Um, decals are kind of fun to do, and they're great for causes as well. Um, and you could make a little nice little chunk of change on it if you wanted to. And remember this, that images from Design Space, unless they are licensed, such as Star Wars images would be licensed, um, Disney and Sanrio, which is Hello Kitty, um, unless it was a licensed image, you can sell it. That's called an angel policy. And that's something that Cricut has always had and honors is that you can use the image. You can't sell the image, but you can use the image to create an end product that you can sell. So <clears throat> whether it's like online to sell or perhaps um, at, a, at a show, like, like an arts and crafts show or at a fundraiser. I've done these for fundraisers as well for our green PBD when we've done our green fests. And they make a nice little like sort of a, a donation, <clears throat> a donation prize. Like give a donation, you'll get this sticker. So here we go. Done. Whew. So there, then... We would take this and put it on whatever surface we're going to put it on. Again, burnish it, and then slow. the The cool part here is that um, is that this will come off fairly easy, a lot easier than it did come off the backing. But so you see, if you said you made some, you can just put it right back there on the backing, and you could give it to whomever. Um, phew, I did it. So that is how you would do a, this is fairly simple layering, but I thought you guys would, um, like to see it, especially after having several morning set, set up fails. Um, this was my sort of pivoty thing for, for, um, for today's project. Now, uh, Saturday night is going to be about alcohol ink. We're going to be using um, whatever you have for alcohol ink. Um, some of the alcohol ink, let's go back up here. Um, some of the alcohol inks that I got, I did get them from Amazon and I will put the links to them in the description. Um, and I did also get this paper. Now, the cool thing about this paper is that it's, um, it's, it's made out of plastic. It's very expensive. I would not recommend just running out and buying a whole bunch of this because I think it was $10 for this one pack of, it's, it's a 84 pound alcohol ink paper. And it's again made with plastic. It doesn't feel plasticky, but the ink will not penetrate really through. I mean, it might a little bit on the edges here, which is what I did. So um, if you try this, and I will try this with uh, craft cardstock so you can see what I mean tomorrow night. But this is called Yupo Paper. Why? U P O and um in here this is by Pixis Pixix and I got that on Amazon and then here are the alcohol inks. I got this box from Amazon and then it has all these little holes that you take out and you put in your bottle. So I've got, these are all the Ranger ink bottles, not the ones that I originally purchased. So I've got all these ones that are like a lot of them are pearls um, and it says pearls here. And I've been thinking about maybe I should sort of put a little dot on there if it's a pearl, just so I'll know. But 
I, I don't know that I need to do that, but here's the pearl ones. You'll see on the bottom, it the pearl sort of pools on the bottom. And when you shake it, it's almost like a bottle of nail polish or spray paint. It has some sort of a marble or something in there so that you can get that pearl-ness out. Okay, or in, I don't want to say out, dispersed within the ink. So you do have to shake it every single time that you use it. The other thing that I purchased and started playing with it is this weird thing. It's like a little <clears throat> air blower. And uh, you can't see it really, but it's basically, it's just kind of like a little... But if you have something similar, even like something in your kitchen, like perhaps a baster, that might work. Or even a by your mouth using a straw, that would work. We're also going to be trying out these little um, ink, like felt pieces. Let me see if I can. Uh, here we go. Um, so whatever you happen to have, bring it and we will play. So I also got these things. These are mini applicator felts. One is in like a rectangle and this is in a circle. So it comes with like a little thing that you can, uh, you can basically put it on there and it would give a very muted look. And then lastly, what I have is this, it's a spray. It's a mica spray, and um, it is basically in a metallic. So I want to I want to work and play with that. So we're gonna have fun tomorrow night, working on making cards, and we'll we'll create some backgrounds for cards that we're going to then uh, put a Cricut cut. And in fact, I mentioned here on this. On, on the free uh, Mother's Day cards, we're going to be using, where is the card that we're going to be using? This one here called Happy Mother's Day card. That's all it's called. And this one, I love you, mom, because I think cut the cutting these out in a plain color and then using the background of our alcohol inks will look really cool. All right, so um, that's tomorrow. And remember, get your name in if you haven't already for the giveaway, and I will announce the giveaway winner tomorrow, okay? All right, everyone, I think that's it for me for today. Thank you for listening to me. Um, and, you know, just so you know, there everybody gets frustrated. It's not just you um, or me. <laughs> Everyone has frustrations and um, sometimes there are things you have to just sort of shake off or pivot, as I like to say, pivot to a different thing until you can resolve your problem. So don't feel like you're alone if, if sometimes you're just feeling like Oh my gosh, why why is this not working for me? Um and it it's like it's a learning issue, I think. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming today. We'll see you again tomorrow at seven o'clock. And make sure you grab those links after I post this video. You can grab the links uh to either the project uh file or the links to the alcohol ink stuff. What's the other thing that I said I was going to link? Oh, the giveaway. All right. So make sure you do that. Okay. And the Star Wars mystery box. A lot of stuff. <sighs> okay, everyone. I'm going to just breathe and um, and see you all later. Uh, see you all tomorrow night. Have a wonderful day. I hope you get some crafting in. We'll see you. Bye. I will, Laurie. I'm going to do something nice for myself. I am. Thank you for the advice. That was good. That's a good one. And the container. Okay, yeah, I will I will post the container that I got so you can uh, purchase it if you want to through my Amazon uh, affiliate link. Okay? Okay, take care. Bye.